Hello, it's Bricktopian here, and today I will be doing an unboxing for August 2022. This box has one set in it, but it is a very special set, because it isn't a normal set. Which set is it? I guess we will find out in one second. What could it possibly be? It's not a massive set, but it's not a really small set. It's a medium sized set. It is a set I've been waiting for for quite a long time, even though I ordered it quite a while ago. So what is it? Did you guess what it was? Yes. It is... Du, 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 du. It's a Bricklink set. My first ever Bricklink set. But I've never had a Bricklink set before. And it is... The Clockwork Aquarium. This is an 18 plus set. Which, I don't know if I agree. It could be because it's got a uh, clockwork mechanism in it. But I just think that they're doing it because all idea sets now are 18 plus for some reason. Anyway, this set is called Clockwork Aquarium and it is number 910015. And it is designed by the um, Lego creator. Far Cure, Far, I don't, can't pronounce it, but it's Far Cure, I believe is pronounced. And it says it's 4-in-1. It's not really 4-in-1 for the whole set, but it's called 4-in-1 because you can actually do four different designs of the inside of the back of the um, fish tank. So you can have a main one that's sort of got corally bits on and a little octopus and a knight's helmet and things and different colour fish, an orange one, a green one, and a blue one. Or you can do other designs such as this one which is a pirate's one and it comes with a skeleton minifigure and a treasure chest that opens and some silver fish etc. And then you've got some others down the bottom like there's one with a squid and it uses a pirate ship and then the one at the very bottom which is a bit like the first one. It just uses slightly different accessories. But this set looks really cool, I love it. And it was 50 quid, which is quite a lot. And but then sets are getting more expensive and it is a limited set. I think they only made like two thousand some and something copies of this set, so it kind of makes sense that it would be dear anyway. And I like the the white box as opposed to the normal 18 plus sets that are in a black box. I probably prefer the black but it's nice to have a difference for the Bricklink. And the Bricklink logo is the main thing you see on the box more than the Lego logo but you do see the Lego logo there. So, but you don't see it anywhere else on the box which is quite funny to me. They're still using the Bricklink as the main selling point even though this was bought from lego.com although it was like, it was siphoned through the Bricklink store. And it is still Bricklink, but Bricklink is now owned by Lego, so it makes sense that the Lego company actually own it, that it still have their logo on there. And you can see the minifigure there of the skeleton with the pirate hat, which is pretty cool for scaling. And it says Bricklink Design and Program there, because this was a part of yeah the Bricklink program, and it's basically a rejected idea set. But I don't think it should have been, and I liked the set when it was on on uh, the Lego Ideas website and I was like I hope that gets made and I'm so glad that I still can get this even though it was is a rejected set. Anyway let's look inside the box and see what it has inside of it. So this is the inside of the box. It opens like a flat lid which I really like. I prefer boxes that open like this to the ones with the push tabs. I just think they're really cool. I just like the way they do it better. I just think they look more Lego like and they remind me more of older Lego sets where they would do that and like it comes with this poster thing while well, this piece of card that shows the set on and says Brooklyn design and program at the bottom and it's got some online building instructions here it shows you how to use the app it's pretty cool and it's got the set number there and a nice graphic of a close-up of the sets and then inside you got the bags I've noticed something that in this box compared to the normal Lego sets, the box feels very more full. Like there's not loads of empty space inside the box, it feels like they're making better use of the box size. Which actually is a step up from Lego, which is ironic, but yeah. So, 
you can see the bags here, got bag two, which is, doesn't have much in it, but it's a cool looking bag. You've got the shell, you've got like a plan piece there. And then there's bag five, which has got some blue beam um, lightsaber sword pieces in and some fish and different things. You got number six, which is very small there. Another number six though. And another thing I can say is that these have got the, the numbers, the bags are exactly the same as the ones that Lego normally use. I thought they would be slightly different, but they're not. Bag number three. Uh, number four, which has got a lot of blue in. And then we've got another number three. Which I think this is, yeah, this is for the pirate um, version of the background. See if I have a skeleton in there. Bag one. Bag five. Bag two. And then bag one. With the a teal bridge separator. And then these extra pieces, which are large plate pieces. Also comes with some cool accessories. Oh look! There's a there's a um seahorse in there. I don't think I've ever even seen that piece before. That's cool, and some starfish and things. They are, they all look pretty awesome. They are like those. They're pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm surprised they're not in a normal bag though, but they look cool. So anyway, let's have a look at all the bags. So in this set, you get quite a few bags actually, but they're just quite empty. So you get uh, two bag ones. You get two bag twos. You get two bag threes. You get only one bag four. You get two bag fives and two bag sixes. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven main bags there. But then you get the one with the extra plate pieces in. So you get twelve bags in the set in total. It's a great looking set and I can't wait to build this one. I think it will be really fun. And obviously it just feels cool building a Brickling set. But some of the Brickling sets that I like, some of the other ones were super expensive. Like the Bowling Alley, which I really like the look of. So I only got this one, but... I still think it's going to be awesome to experience a Brickling set and um, I just think it's a good idea that people who didn't get the set through Lego Ideas directly can still get them. So it's good, it's a good idea, I'm happy with it. And there's some really cool interesting pieces in this set for sure that I haven't even seen before. And I think it'll be fun to build and the fact you can rebuild the different designs is really good as well. You don't actually get any... Um, you don't get a, um, a poster in this one like I've seen some of these sets get because there's no um, there's no need for a background on this set because it's not like a minifig scale set or a scenic set where you need a background. It's just like a ornamental piece so it didn't need one but I know some sets get background prints so yeah. Another thing that's worth noting that's not very good about this set, though, is you don't actually get an instruction manual. You just get this piece of card. It's got nothing on it. It just shows you how to download. Um, so if you want to read, you look at the instructions, which you obviously will, you're going to have to go on the app, which is a bit of a pain. I didn't realise that they did that. I thought you still got instructions, but you don't. But it's still a great set, and I imagine they did it to cut back on the cost of funding this project. But, you know, it would have been nice. But yeah, anyway... There's not a lot else I can say at the moment on this set because I obviously haven't built it yet. But I think it's a great set and I really do like this set from what I've seen of it. And the clockwork mechanism is what I've made me want to get it so much. And I think it'd be really fun. It'd be great like a, as a stress buster, just turning this over and over again and getting this to go in a circle. But yeah. I like the box, I like the idea of this product, I like the idea of the Britling service of doing this, and the 18 plus name is a very unusual choice though, that they keep doing that with all the guys, these idea sets, I don't think it's necessarily an accurate idea, but I get they're doing it for sales purposes, but anyway, I think this will be fun, so let me, let, let me know your thoughts on this set, and if you think it's a good set to get. I hope you've enjoyed this video unboxing for August 2022. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.